Hey guys, how's it going? Patrick here. I'm going to give you guys a little Pro Tools tutorial. Um, so right now, create new session, which is what you guys would have seen when you open up. We're all fine here for now. Hit create. Need a different name. Let's go with Pro Tools. And we don't need to save. Um, so here we go. So right from the start, um, this is our main setup. This is our window right here. Um, if we want to transport that window, and this right here is just the expanded window, probably might normally show up like this. So I did was hit this and then hit all. Um, it's highlighted all of these, the counter, MIDI controls, synchronization, and output meters. Um, and so this just gives you a little bit more control. And when we get into using MIDI through Pro Tools, we'll look at this more. Um, and so this has just transported that window down there. Um, also, we also got a big counter if we want this to be to the side while we want to keep time on our track. Um, and so this also right here, we've got our normal controls, um, stop, play, record, fast forward, um, right up here at the top, got bars and beats, time code, minute seconds, samples, we've got our tempo, um, and we also have our meter. We would change those by tapping the plus button right there. Um, and then right up here, different inspection tools. Um, so here, we'll need to pull down a couple tracks to see these. So let's pull out two audio tracks. We'll put them in stereo. Um, and so if I change this, this would be my zoom in. Um, this would be if I was moving different clips around and cutting different pieces, maybe in and out of a specific loop, wanting to chop something up. Uh, this is my normal cursor tool. Uh, this is my grabber tool if I want to move different pieces um, into different spots. Um, and then... Right over here, um, I've got some more manipulation for my track. So now that I've pulled a couple tracks up, you can also pull up the mix window. The mix window and the track um, overlap in certain regards. Um, what the mix window really does is it's just a virtual mixing board. Um, and so what, if you were, guys were like a mixing board, it'd be pretty similar to what you're seeing right here. Um, we've got inserts and sends, overall typically known as plugins. Um, if we wanted to put those on this side, we would, could do that same thing by clicking this white button um, right up here, the top of all the tracks. So again, unclick those to remove them. Um, and then also, those are comments we could look at. We double click on the track name if we wanted to name the track. Um, right here, this right at the bottom, this drop down menu uh, pulls down uh, the automation um, side and what would happen is so if you inserted like a plugin maybe like a reverb right here you would control turning that reverb off and on um, through here so you may not want to have that reverb reverb on for the whole song but you may want it on for 10 or 15 seconds you could control that through there um, this right here just changes the size of the track uh, where we go there we go go back to medium um, okay, so that basically gets us through, um, the track, um, that basically gets up through the mixing window. Just to show you guys a quick example of an insert, and also to show you guys where a click tra track is, we'll go up to track, hit create click track, um, and what a click track does is allow us to time the song, and so if you guys look up here now in our mixing window, um, we've got this click too, and so this is that insert which will actually make the click. So if we were to play, we'd see getting some volume from the click right there. Um, and so if you guys ever wanted to change the BPM in, over the course of your whole song, what you do is we click on this cursor tool in the middle right here, select a point with our cursor um, that we'd want to change the beat at. We hit tempo. We change that to, let's say, 130. We've got a marker now right here. So we're going to play the song from here. Now we've got from the click track this is the insert we see it changed to 130 right there if you guys ever want to turn that off you bypass it right there um and then it will not play and that'll be the click the click will not play or whatever insert is in there will not play um in terms of setup if you guys go to setup and then io you can look at all the controls for inputs and outputs then for the plugins um, as well to check to make sure that they're going down the right pathway um and this can be helpful too if you might have trouble with audio setups to know what's going where. Um, what else to show you guys? 
guys. Um, some of the other stuff like MIDI setup we'll get into a little bit later, but some of those controls will be be in hardware setup um, or in MIDI setup, MIDI studio, things like that itself. Um, just in general, so you guys know, there is a balance between the amount of uh, plugins you can have and the amount of tracks you have. Um, and so if you might think of an aggregate of 12 total slots, you might have six for tracks and six for plugins. Um, and if you change that around, so maybe you had three tracks and nine plugins, that will affect the latency. And the, lat the latency is the time it takes to process a signal and turn it from digital to audio. Um, and you guys know that process as buffering. And so you have a larger buffer time um, if you overload the CPU with too many um, with too many plugins. Um, and so you guys just need to be conscious of the amount of plugins you have, the amount of tracks you have as you guys are working, because um, there is an optimal balance for that. Um, I think that's about it in terms of setup. Um, showed you guys the mixing window. We know how to get the transport window out if we want to pull that down. Um, yeah, we showed the BPM counter. Um, oh, great. Let me show you guys how to import tracks really quick. Okay, so you'd go up to file, go to import, then we'd hit audio. I'm gonna pull in this. This is what we want to convert right here, and so we'll need to convert it to something that Pro Tools can read. We'll leave this stuff. We won't worry about this for now, but we will come back to it a bit later, and I'll show you where you guys can learn some more about that stuff as well. We'll hit convert, hit apply SCR, um, which is just going to allow us to convert it um, to the final level we want it at um, in a good recording level where we can work with the piece. We're going to hit done. We're going to hit open. We'll put it on the new track. And there it is right there. Um, so if we were to play from the start, and this actually might bite, probably will bump up, uh, sorry, a little bit um, because we've got this BPM marker in here. Um, yeah, and that's the basic um, basis of Pro Tools. Um, just to show you guys really quickly, um, getting all this information from lynda.com, which actually all Williams students have access to. And so I'll show you guys how to get there in a second. Um, but just so you guys know, first of all, in the second chapter under learning the interface, there's a couple sections toward the end, starting with selecting inputs and outputs and ending with understanding signal paths. It's about 13 minutes of content will be really great if you guys need to learn more about inserts and sends and how to use those. Also a section about keyboard shortcuts if you guys want to jump around Pro Tools really fast. Um, also, and then if you scroll back through the first section, um, we've got some more intro stuff. Um, and you guys can learn a little bit more about samples and ticks um, and how to manipulate tracks um, as well. Um, last thing, I'm not sure if I showed you guys this. Um, there's also a color palette where you could select a track and select different tracks and put them in different colors to keep them organized if that's helpful for you. Um, use my gravity tool if I want to move this up there. That's how that would work. Um, and then let me show you guys really quickly just how to get um, get out of Linda. Um, and so, sorry, how you get into Linda. So I will get out of Linda right now. Um, and so I hit log in. You guys might have to set up an account and we can get you guys instructions for that if you would need to do that. And um, you would go to library, audio plus music. Pro Tools is right here on the right hand side. Um, Pro Tools 12, a set of recording is what I had. And we're right back to where we started. Um, and yep, here it is, section two. Um, so that's about all I have for you guys right now. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to, to let me know. Um, hope you guys found this video helpful.